know about relationships, but you're wrong. Listen, there's no magic bullet. I'm teaching life skills. You need sick? You need medicine. It don't always taste good. Nah. But it'll get you better. You, you, you need this medicine. Yeah. It ain't gonna always taste good. But this is what you need. Men and women, bottom line, we need to have the conversation. Your partner wants to give up control, but only if you know how to drive. This is about being the best you you could ever be, whoever you are. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, LGBTQ, space alien. I'll save anybody. I don't care. I'll teach a hedgehog how to have a threesome. What do you mean by that? Look, you don't have to listen to me, but you're wrong. Listen, I know I'm great. And I know you're thinking, Dante, there's no way I could be like you. But you could be me, you know why? Because you know who I was? Before I was me, I was you. You man score 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. Yeah, 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 yeah. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am fucking excited. Nice. I know I've said that 500 times before, but this time I mean it. Um, <laughs> we got a special guest. Let me get into that in one minute. Uh, Harry, what's going on? You ready to rock and roll? Oh, 2021, the year of new catchphrases. Uh, zippity dippity. That's the new one I'm trying to get. Is that going to work? Is that with the kids? Uh, I don't know I if like the, the kids, kids are going like to go that. for the zippity dippity. Yo, son. But what if I put a How little more How about get the bands? How about get the bands? Get the bands? Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Now that I know get what bands. bands means. It's get the bands, bands everybody. The 2021. Stack. The bag. Secure the bag. My dog is in the building. Funny dude. Love this dude to death. Creative. Hey. Well, you got to hey. check him out. Uh, my little nigga, Nori Davis. <laughs> What's up? Uh, what up, Unc? How you doing, baby? I'm good, baby. What's going on? Me, me, so me and Nor, <laughs> Nor called me up because I had to play his, um, his, his, <laughs> his fly uncle in his, uh, his sketch <laughs> yeah. for his, uh, for his album. What's the new album coming out? The new album is already out. It's called so, Live from the is Live from the Comedy Trap House. It came out last year, right. and so I shot a music video. So you were basically playing my cool ass uncle in the music video. Yeah, shit was um, dope. yeah, man, I'm glad you did it, man. It really came together. Just I just finished watching like the first cut, so nice. we're in post production. You look great in it. You kill it, and uh, uh, yeah, thing about and Andre, Andre it. had to do a show. He was going to be on the show, but. Andre was in the and he was in the in the party. Yeah, yeah, you, yo, th- I can't wait for you to see it, man. That line, when you, you like you, you, you part of my crew. <laughs> 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 Andre, what Andre doing the Zoom show right there? I, I think so, but he might be joining. Us. Andre might be joining us, but that's right. how it is now. Apparently, we get bumped for Zoom. He's like, I got to do a show. I'm like, wow. all right, I guess he's done. But then Yo. he's like, oh, I, I, if you guys are still doing the show, I think he's going to hop back on because I forget gotta, that yeah. shows aren't live anymore. Yo, man, yeah. we got to hack it. We got to hack into that nigga show real quick. Yeah, just hack in and, <laughs> it's just and, do, it. and do our punchlines for That's his it, jokes. Man. That's right. Or just do some Zoom heckling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Remember that in the beginning? I think they figured that out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, was that a big problem back then? I think here's Andre. Hold on. That was in the beginning. They were just like heckling niggas in there. People oh, were there. Oh, shit. I think we're being joined by Andre. Let's see. That was oh, uh yeah. Shit. It was it was in the beginning when they were hacking hacking yeah. people. Oh, they were hacking uh, in and, and heckling from a hat. Oh, yeah, showing cool. showing porn. They were showing porn. They were saying racial slurs, like just trolling like people zoom. You know what? Somebody the told me they the put classics. up. They did a. Uh, somebody told me they did a, a zoom thing and they put. Uh, what up, kid? I there thought you had a show, family. Uh, you was on Zoom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I did. Yeah. oh, oh okay, yeah. We forget. Yeah, we assume done. that it's live when you say yeah, I'm still yeah, operating yeah, like shit. it's 2010. Yeah, well, yeah, I like, had yeah. A, a fucking show from Microsoft. That was cool. Okay. Nice. Was done. Nice. Them nice. Zoom shows, shit. yeah, them Zoom shows are like only five to ten minutes. Ain't nobody yeah, on there like, for like 15, <laughs> 30 minutes. It's like the only time I did 30 and 40 was for a college. And that on was a it. Zoom show? On a Zoom show. Oh shit, fire. Good, good, good. How many yeah, people was in the audience, Jay? Um, 
the college you see? Is packed. They be like on, in could the hundreds. Could you see? Could you see them? No, nah, no. Nah, I did three of them. Two of them, they had it where you know you can hear and see each other. Uh-huh. And then one, it was just my face on this like big ass screen, screen. thing they did. Yeah. And that one, I, I felt like I bombed my dick off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I felt, I felt, it felt like a long ass monologue, bro. Like I ain't. I was like, I'm, just, I'm just talking right now. Like, to be so or weird. not to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this shit yeah. suck. You're like without the laughs, out. these aren't jokes anymore. You just, yeah, like I ain't yeah. know what I was doing. Doing dog. beat poetry. Hey guys, you know I have a poem for you kids. Right. It's the same <laughs> shit without the laughs. It's the same remember, thing. Hey, remember that dude, uh, Gerard Carmichael, uh, uh, produced his shit in a room with nobody before the COVID? Was yeah, that, um, no, that was Drew Michaels, nah, not Gerard Carmichael. Drew Michael. Michael. Yeah, yeah, Drew that was Michaels. Drew Michaels. But Rob, what you call it? Yeah, yeah, Gerard, Gerard directed coming, it. Yeah, right, yeah. right, right. You know what? Right. I never finished that one, and it's interesting because I like uh, I've seen Drew many times. I like him as a comedian. I think is really good. I never watched that special if it held up or not. I don't know if any. No, not, it did I, not. It did not. No. It's a weird. It did not. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Good. I mean, he's a brilliant comedian to me, but uh, yeah, brilliant, I don't know, without the brilliant, audience, brilliant is strong. No, without hey, the brilliant. audience, it's no good. But I'm saying, no matter what, I don't think. I don't think brilliant is strong. I think. That's, I think even if Chappelle did it with no audience, it has a. It would have a weird feeling to it it's you different. know what i mean well, i mean cat williams did it cat williams did it for supreme he did was, kill that shit he with no that audience. Shit. yeah it's cat williams though you know yeah. yeah but no audience the supreme shit it's cat williams i mean yeah he can read yeah. the fucking he's yeah, one of those yeah. people it's like you you great. get to a point in your career where you can just read like the fucking phone book and you're like it's yeah. cat williams like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly so like yeah, i you just really... saw that one he did on he did on uh on trump when I, I don't maybe it was an old he one. didn't just he, do it trump but this like this man years like ago, but i fuck with great. all y'all man i fuck with all y'all like i can watch dante read the phone book i'd be like that's dante <laughs> man like that's that nigga's stupid he hilarious it'd it be like that like i feel like you gotta get to a point like that in your career where like yeah, you, you get, get that like, come, nah, nigga, i ain't going front man i've been listening i was listening to a couple of the old album the the uh what was the first one home game home, home game. game i i i I was I listening. I had that. that shit, I had it in my. I got it in <laughs> the in the truck. I got it in the truck, and I was listening. And I was like, "But real talk, yeah. real talk." Nori knows this. Like, and I'm, if if I'm lying, I'm dying. I was like, "Harry, you gotta watch." Son. Yeah. Oh yeah. shit! Wow. Wow. My nigga. Yeah. Yo, wow. For real, son. Wow. Yeah. My nigga got the, got the uh, yeah. I always. Guy. I've told Dante this. I've always. Appreciate I, y'all, I've told man. Dante a couple times. I go, "Oh, I just ran into Nori last night," and it's always fun watching Nori because he's working on some good shit like it's not i did see i did see well, nori yo, one time huh? we were in the parking lot harry right we was in the parking lot is that uh, one? Oh, the, i don't the remember Delroy, the, the queen the, shit yeah the queen yeah. shit. oh yeah that one i and think then that's also, the last time i saw you man performing maybe. behind a dumpster right like yeah. that's right at the <laughs> diner <laughs> that you was some like trap it's an, trap it sounds to people like it's an insult like it's a slam that's we were performing behind the dumpster no it literally was yeah that in the back of the diner and that was a good show. I had a good. Damn, that was. Yeah. A I threw fun. my water bottle from the stage into the dumpster, <laughs> like boom, right there. <laughs> Jordan. Yeah, yeah. Yo, but uh, who who runs that? It was Jay Nog, right? Jay Nog yeah. did it. Yeah, yeah. Jay Nog, and that's a I good show. It. That's one of the better ones. Yeah. Now Jay was like, "Yo, can I record you for my documentary?" I was like, "Nah, nigga, you can't record me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is no. We uh, we just out here trying to figure it out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this moment. That's funny. <laughs> he, um, what would you say? Yeah, I was, I was watching. I, I was, I was, I got, I got it in the in the jack. I was just listening to your joint, and My I was name. like, I, I, I used to say this. I don't know if I've ever said this to you, but I've, when people talk about you as a comic, I go, Nori is the only nigga I know that's more likable than Greer. That's oh and, shit. And if you know Greer, yeah, it nah. ain't. Bill, and I'm gonna tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because <laughs> that nigga Greer, 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 you know the audience. I mean, when you look at Greer, Greer's on stage, and you look at oh, hey, Greer is doing the, the audience is like, mm, they just <laughs> hearts yeah. coming out of their head. But Greer will not unless he's drunk. He won't do nothing offensive. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. if they do, if they like, they like him because he's so easy. If he does something to something controversial, they feel betrayed. They feel like he lied to them. <laughs> and then they, they, then they turn against he builds, him. He built so much goodwill. 
He this Care up so Bear has a cool. knife. What the and then fuck? You, got, you know, in a couple of game of sins and Grill would be like, y'all white motherfuckers. Y'all be yeah, y'all yo, white yeah. Nobody <laughs> never seen Raider yo. R. Greer Barnes. Raider R. Greer Barnes is like my favorite villain. Yeah. Damn, like, <laughs> we, we don't see him that much, but when that nigga come Ooh. out, that's Joker shit. That, my that's favorite that's Joker yeah. Greer <laughs> moment was what I was at, hanging out with him at one of the cellars, one of the three rooms, and you know how they have the monitors where you can see who's on each stage yeah, yeah, at yeah, once yeah, over yeah. there? And he just yeah. pointed, I'm not going to say who it was, but he pointed at the stage and went, they don't belong here. Like, just the way he said it. <laughs> yeah. And it's just because it's Greer, because he said out yeah. one side of his face and you yeah. never see him because he's yeah, never man. been anything but nice to me. I'm like, boy, he yeah, must really his, hate his, them. The angry grip? Yeah. Ooh, you Ooh. right, it is. That's like Joker. That's you, know, yeah. you know what it is? The nicer the I comedian. I seen that nigga come out. I was like, oh, yeah. shit. This is, like, I ain't... <laughs> I, I, I'll never forget it. It's like seeing a Care Bear pull out a knife like, yo, fuck all y'all, man. I'm not going to rub my stomach. <laughs> it's just like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, Grant? Do the bit. Do the bit. You the uh, drunk nigga from the. Like, hey, I ain't doing Remember? none of that shit. <laughs> fuck these white motherfuckers. Blah, 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 fuck all you white motherfucking niggas. <laughs> fuck yo. I was like, he go, he go hard. Like, he yeah. go real. But no, no will get away with stuff that other motherfuckers can't get away with. Yeah, man. He's fuck like adorable. People, I used to say yeah. <laughs> he's just adorable, but he be pushing it. He's while he's he's charming you. He's pushing you. He's yeah, Dante, on, on the audience. other hand, will Thank alienate you, the audience. You. Yeah, 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 alienate no. the audience on the way to the stage. You put your <laughs> foot up, put your foot up on the table I, on top I, of the drink. Right, I go right out and kick somebody in the Dante face. Dante is a, a fucking <laughs> hilarious boulder on the stage. Like, you're not going to move him. He ain't going to move. He's strong. And he gonna hit you hard, and whatever you That's come back with him, it's gonna it gonna bounce right off of him. He gonna go. Like, so yeah, <laughs> you right you ain't yeah, 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 you ain't moving that boulder off the stage, fam. Like you gonna oh. hear what he got to say. <laughs> we got something. Yeah. We got something. We got. Talk but thank about. you, man. Yeah. I appreciate that, man. I love really, y'all, really creative, and of man. all y'all. I'm, I'm, Andre, I'm, you gotta I'm, see the video. Word. Yeah, Andre's Andre's in the party scene. No. No, but Andre was in it. I just got to get the audience here that Andre was in it. Yeah, yeah. Killed it. I saw the first cut, man. And thank you for doing it, man. Y'all niggas look man, great. Man. No doubt. No. I was happy to be in that bitch. Andre <laughs> inspired my ad lib that, that Norm said I, I, we kept in the in the video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jerry, you part of my crew. What the hell you do? What you said you that with me? <laughs> yeah, so tell Harry, so they they all in the crew, and and he's got he's playing like he's fucking he's riding my limb my limb my uh my, my Lambo, Lambo your Lambo he's yeah wearing my 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 gold my in my oh, apartment he got a party got going bitches. on got a quarantine i got a quarantine party that's the that's the whole idea the premise i have a quarantine uh party nice using all his shit while i'm yeah. like doing Trying my to zoom act show a big shot. But and then how the how the film or short or how the music video ends is that like I was dreaming all of that shit while I was doing yeah. my Zoom show. I went to sleep. Yeah. And at the end, Dante's like, wake your ass up and finish your Zoom show oh, and get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, that, that sounds like that line. Great, man. Yeah, man. I just put I, 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 I took one of my jokes and I put it on a beat and it actually sounds good. So. Yeah. I was like, fuck it. I'm going to make I made a, a music video because like, you know how rappers always use comedy yeah, for, yeah, yeah. for them to support them. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to use rap aesthetics to support my album and Listen, my comedy it's, album. It's crazy I don't, I don't mean how to, creative motherfuckers are getting, you know? I don't mean to offend you, Nori. I just don't see this hip hop thing lasting, bro. What are you talking about? Little Dicky did it. I'm doing the reverse <laughs> Little Dicky. No, <laughs> I'm not a rapper, but I'm going to act like uh, one. <laughs> That's why not. Why not? Plenty of people have been doing that the other way for years. Right. You see right. what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? So, I rule the world. Yo, fam. <laughs> Plenty of people. Ha <laughs> 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 Remember that's how I used to be started? a bar back in the day. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. all it was back in the day. It was like beatboxing. <laughs> They'd be like, "Oh, that shit fire!" Say that again. And then the nigga, I don't know. Can, can was, you give me I another? I was in huh? the park with fucking Busy B when he he said the ba 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 the the busy the busy. That was bars, nigga. That was all bars. Fam, just sound like it rhyme. Hey, was the Fat Boys a legitimate group or were they always a parody group? Yeah, they were legit. Now with the with the lights. Can do because I'm racist. I was just the last <laughs> 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 Yeah, 
<laughs> that's just real. That's just real. Just a little bit. I used to hang Yo, out. I with think I saw. Like I think I saw. I think I saw a young picture of you. I don't know where it was on the gram. Dante looked like he was a murcho ass back in the day. You look wow, like man. a very angry Audi hey, short. Like, short. like you look like <laughs> like you was about like. Yo, and I remember like, you were shooting the video. You. you like what we was in. What what what? Because uh, uh, I yo, Andre don't even know that. Oh yeah, nah, I, yeah, Andre don't know. But earlier that day, yeah, I got kicked out the Airbnb. Dante oh, know shit. that shit. Yeah, I got yeah, kicked yeah. out the Airbnb because yeah, yeah. we was we was in the white neighborhood. But he was like, yo, back in the day, best time you got your ass murked around the corner. <laughs> but really? yeah, man, was Dante there? Airbnb ask you to move your car. It's racist as fuck. And you came out with the chain going. Oh yeah, huh? uh, oh yeah, yeah. I was there. I was there when <laughs> y'all were on the balcony. That shit was so funny. What was this now? Explain this story for uh, so, everybody who don't know. He was all dressed up like a rapper with no, was. chain yeah with he had a black turtleneck and chains and so the dude white dude Yo, came to, to black turtleneck so he looked like he looked like a rapper right yeah. he like a drug he dealer like, like a drug yeah. dealer and and the, and the dude was like, "Yo, whose car is this? You gotta move this car." And no, he North- came outside, said, "Yo, there's a problem." <laughs> 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 and the dude, the dude was like, "What's these rappers? Oh, oh, Look at these rappers here." It's funny. Enough black and Harry, I didn't know. How, I didn't know how I looked. So I didn't know. He wasn't, he wasn't even being like that. He was know. just, "Yo, there's a problem." And he was he actually was like, asking yeah. legitimately, "Is there yeah. a problem? Let who's me it, help." I, it? I didn't know. I didn't <laughs> know how I looked. He hangs <laughs> over the balcony. The chain is swinging on in front of the balcony <laughs> and shit. Yo. Yo, that's I'm like, what's the problem? And the, and the guy who Andre with the, the guy look up and be said, like, so where are you from? I was like, nigga, where I'm from? I'm from New York, bro. I was like, I don't want to do all this talking. And then walked off. <laughs> Yo, that was a great just fucking day. Snore the coke, snore the coke over uh, off a girl's butt and Yo, went back to work. Nah, <laughs> that's right, but that guy thought. <laughs> Yeah, no, he took no. pictures. He took pictures yeah, of the and car. I took pictures of his car because I ain't know why. You know, because you I don't like. Because I don't like. Smart. Yesterday, you I don't like know. that you taking pictures of mine. So I'm taking care of you. Yeah, I was. Just Andre, like, is, a, Andre is a black Karen. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna, Andre's you a blaring. He's a black. Big facts. Andre like. This. I'm gonna get him. Oh, I'm gonna get my money back. You wanna take my picture? I'm gonna take your picture. I'm gonna see manager. Hilarious. I'm gonna get my return. Don't play with me. I was raised by sisters, nigga. I'm, I'm a parent. Hilarious. <laughs> so Andre, Andre got, got, got chick, chick fighting ways. That nigga, one time Woo! Andre gave me the silent treatment for no reason. Just when <laughs> Andre, Andre started wearing capris. I was like, you ain't gonna talk to me and- for real? <laughs> He started wearing you capris really and chunky heels. He was oh, like, mm. man. I was like, mm. <laughs> nigga, that's my that's my that's my R one move. I'm not talking to niggas, man. I ain't got shit to tell no. you. Don't fuck with you. Hit <laughs> <laughs> with the R one silent no. treatment. Clink. <laughs> here's here's why I'm mad at Nori though. Nori was almost almost got married to a crazy chick. Yeah, oh man. boy. And I, yeah, I know man. you're not oh, supposed no. to be say crazy. I don't mean just like regular crazy. Nah, you like, good, man. Like, like, uh, not like he's like, I uh, know I wasn't, I wasn't backing down. You know, I wasn't biting my tongue, but I'm nah, saying, I don't, when I say your brand, like, like, <laughs> like, uh, certifiably. Yeah, right. Right. Like, okay. What um, made her certifiably yeah, like crazy? Regular, here. Like, oh, my, my hormones. It's how crazy. I knew she was crazy. Harry It's like, when you get out the relationship, when niggas say like, yo, I'm glad you back, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I wanted you to run, but I couldn't say nothing. It's like, that's me. You know, yeah. like, damn, all y'all niggas knew. They was like, yes, nigga. But we, you know, you, because there's only two blind, reactions. Baby. There's only two reactions when you break up with a girl from your boys. It's like, oh, man, that's that's sad. I hope you do better. Or like, yeah. yeah. Man, Ooh, that was a good I'm glad thing. You back. I yeah. wanted to say something, but I knew I would be cut out if I yep. said anything. Yeah, I was so shocked how many niggas said that, but like shocked in the fact that they said that and that like they welcomed me back, like because I thought I lost all my niggas, but they all. <laughs> now we're just up. waiting for you. They, that's it. That's exactly what they say. Even my homegirls, they were just like, we were just waiting for you. We, you know, you can't really say Figured something to you, a nigga when they like that. You'll yeah, be ready. You God, gotta... that's a tough situation because what can you Bro. say as a friend? It's hard. Like, look, I've done Yo, it, and it's not easy. Tried. But it's hard, yeah. man. Yeah, man, because you wanna, because you're like in a position where like I don't want you to say nothing because you're gonna make me, me and her fight some more. So like, I was also thinking, and that... I'm trying to. Uh, wait, hold on. I'm sorry, Andre. And I'm I'm trying to think like, all right. 
chill. Don't make it worse for me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas right. need to leave me alone. But I'm really not seeing the smoke and mirrors. I'm just like, this is what I want. I'm in abusive shit. So, but go ahead, Andre. What are you saying? I was, like, saying? I was thinking people may have not said it to you out of like respect for you. Like, since you, my man, sure. you seem happy. I don't want to tell you my thoughts. Exactly. They're irrelevant because you are having a good, you're having what you want to have. Not, yeah, let me, so let me tell you and what, you like, which you, is, and you like, you like third degree, third, second degree, my nigga. But like day, day ones, they would say it or they would just go silent because they can't, because they know they're gonna make it worse for me. So I had, mm. I had my best friends like that, and like then I would snap at them. So then they just like, damn man. Oh, so they tried like, a little bit. Oh they tried yeah, a little my, bit my brother, my brother, I gotta get proud. My brother didn't give a fuck, and he's trans. Like my nigga was like, <laughs> like the woman came out and the man came out at the same time. He was like, <laughs> you know this what? Bitch ain't That's right. The- fuck all that. <laughs> that's the only way you could do it was to have both sides of those things unite like the Fam. uh wonder shout twins, wonder twins? yeah yo wonder <laughs> shout to out combine. to my brother man yeah my trans <laughs> brother he didn't give a fuck man he was he, yo, he went in I, and he ain't got nothing to lose though i think that's possibly why he didn't give a yeah, fuck because yeah, yeah, he's like yeah. i'm your brother I'm gonna, your, I'm gonna be your brother i'm, I'm good. here regardless yeah exactly yeah, yeah. i get yeah. motherfuckers i have to tell you this i get mm-hmm. motherfuckers yeah. who, when they caught up in the shit they just avoid me mm. they i don't niggas hide from me they, Cause they soon as they, they know see what me, it's gonna be, and I'm a, and I'm gonna see it in you. I'm a, I'm a, soon yeah. as I see you, I'm like, yo, come, come <laughs> yeah. here, man, come here, come here, talk. Okay. It's something I can feel it. I can feel it. There's a disturbance, disturbance in the force, in the nigga. <laughs> it's a disturbance in the force. I mean, I know, I know. My one like red flag was like I didn't tell my niggas I was gonna propose. I just did it. So that's right. the one right there where you know you don't want to face your nigga. Exactly. Yeah. So I, I think that was like all, always the damage in me of just like I know what they gonna say. I want them to say I'm gonna give this girl this ring so I can show her that I love her and she can trust me and we be good. And the universe is like my nigga. It ain't gonna be good. Like you tripping. Yeah, like, like, it ain't, the ring ain't the problem. The the ring ain't the problem. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what the problem is. You and her. So, Nori, <laughs> let me ask you something here, because yeah. my whole thing is when anybody's ends up being crazy, they're never turning. They've always been crazy. Right. So, when it's, yeah, what was yeah. the thing? What were the things that you fucking ignored openly up front? First, like, she was yeah. a cutie. She's a cutie. Well, that Fred goes without cutie. saying. I mean, she's yo. crazy. So the, 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 the sex is probably insane because she's out. Yeah. of Yeah. Like, ah! Yeah, when you have so one of the women that say like, "What's that? What's that saying? Uh, empty balls." You know what I'm saying? Like, keep their stomach full, empty balls, like uh, that shit. That she was on that shit. So like, my balls is empty all the time, like every other hour, and I'm full. So uh, I'm, I'm not thinking shit yeah, straight. Your mind, I'm your not. Body. <laughs> <laughs> your, your, it's like <laughs> your brain is like, yo, everybody pull the truck. The niggas switching. Turn this yeah. shit down. Turn, just turn it off, nigga. We gonna Next run on you know, impulse power, just um, <laughs> impulse power. Damn, <laughs> Next, you know, it's like a year and a half, and all my niggas is gone. I'm like, wait a minute, hold up, like this. <laughs> then you like back up, like God. fuck all these empty balls, shit, empty friend. balls. Like, no, friends. I'm not having, I'm not having fun in Start my own profession. Tacos away. Yo, yeah. fam. <laughs> no more the ta- food. <laughs> pu- pushing her tacos and her mouth away, like yo, chill. I, fuck, I want to go work. I want to work. Why? Why can't That's I perform funny. with this nigga? Why can't I perform with the home girl? Oh no, cause that bitch did this to me, and you know she ain't do shit. That that girl didn't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's it's yeah. that shit, man. Just keeping it. It's that. It's that. Uh, the whiz. You know what I mean? The whiz. Like the, she she that lying yeah. behind the curtain. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm I'm Pulling believing levers. it, but. Mm, yeah. yeah, so it was that shit right there. So that's what Harry so she get masterminded. You, get you blind. It. She hit oh, you. Oh man, yeah, yeah. That See, manipulation, that's even, man. That, manipulation, she had a game isolation. Plan and kept it going. Yeah, man. I got and the, what got me out of there was just like realizing that she tried to put herself in front of my in my front of my career, my comedy, and that's what woke mm. me up. Really. That was the last straw. That's that always it. that's the one that thing. Was, but she was that testing the waters up. all the way up. Mm-hmm. Like that, that, that. That that is this, you know, that 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 working her way up. I'm like, yo, you gotta quit this comedy shit. He's like, uh-huh. I bet, I bet you will put comedy in front of me. What, bitch? That's how yes. I met you. Wait, <laughs> what? Yeah, like, yes, we met. yes, I would. I don't even know why my comedy is a competition. Why would and then that that's when I start, and then I start seeing like, damn, my niggas ain't here. None of my the homegirls I used to fuck with, they all friend. My mom, my my brother, my best friend. Mm. All right, wait a minute, wait a minute. This thing. So it was that bad where you really went under, where you didn't. Niggas, it was just all you could see is her. Fam, like 
Thanos. So she isolated. Fucking... <laughs> she isolated you. <laughs> yeah, I was like Thanos in that fucking orange world, just oh, by shit. myself. And, and I, was I, I was never, watching I it, it, it in a while. <laughs> I was watching yeah. it on the gram. Like I was because you was posting it. You was even posting it on the gram. It was all over the gram. Man. I it was trying to do whatever your story I could. Was, your story was mad romantic. I was like, Damn, something, is wrong. <laughs> something is wrong. <laughs> something is wrong. He had bro. rose emojis on his shit and it was twinkling. Hilarious. I was like, yeah, man. It's it was no, no, were you doing that? Were you I mean, doing I did that because I wanted to do that. Because you wanted to? Like, were you in love yeah. that you wanted to or was yeah, it to yeah, please no. her? You wanted, okay. but did you, you wanted Both. something nice like that. Yeah. That's all. So you went in with looking for it. Fam. Yes. I, I wanted it so much that I was willing to, all right, I'll sacrifice whatever I can for you that oh. will make you feel comfortable. And then what next thing you, you know, to that point? it's what too got much. You, what got you to that point where you wanted, why? Because it's just the other stuff. Cause I know, I mean, I'm, I'm a member, um, cause I, man, I was like, I, I've probably known you how long, like now, 17, 18, Bro, something like that. Be, yeah. What? 17, 18 years. No, not that long. Dante. How long? I only, I only been doing comedy for like 14, 14 years. 14 would be this summer. So like, 13, were you here? So, were you was in the city? Yeah, yeah, I was in New York. So yeah, nah, yeah. It, we had to know each other for like at least six, seven years, right? So nah, it's gotta be longer than that. You think so? Definitely. Yeah. I mean, no, I, feel, I feel like you're somebody back. I know you longer than six. Uh, I knew you my whole comedy career. Yeah, I, I feel like I've oh, known you like right. 10, Nori. Right? All right, it's so I probably don't 10. remember. All right, you guys are that's right. right. I'll go off of what y'all say. All right, so <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> what were we getting? In, what were we talking about? The, but I remember, I remember, I remember when you uh, when you was with your baby mom. Oh yeah. How old is your daughter now? How's your daughter? She ate. She ate. All right, so yeah, yeah. So I know that's 2012. Yeah, I know before your baby mama. Damn, damn near decade. You, I remember when you was with your baby mama and you broke up with, with this other chick and then you got back with your baby mama. So that's <laughs> 10 years, right? Damn, my nigga, you got my real OG IMDb page. You got the, real, <laughs> <laughs> you got the relationship IMDb page. That's, a, the street that's another IMDb, tab. Yeah. That's funny. You got the IMD <laughs> Pro Pro Pro. Yeah, 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 nigga. I got the, um, the yes. iPhone 1G. <laughs> Yo, you got it. Wait, so what was the original question? Like, well, how what I'm saying, what got you to the point where you wanted to where you wanted this kind of relationship thing? Yeah, I think. um, Yeah, I, I think I was at a point where I just wanted somebody to be like my homie. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. someone I can love and be the homie and I can mm-hmm. work and she's funny so I could just chill out. So I wanted that so much. Uh-huh. And I thought she was the one to do that or was the one I was willing to stay stubborn and sacrifice whatever I could to keep that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's just like well, it, it was that. It was that. I, I she, wanted it. She get you or did you get her? Did she come to you or you came at her? I I came at her. I came at right. her. I got I caught her on the in the DMs, just talking, the uh-huh. vibes. Yeah, you know, everything's great in the middle. And then things just start, they just started unraveling. And then <laughs> <laughs> thing like we just yelling and fighting each other and then you just like all right well i guess that's just normal and it's not now, was she around <laughs> comedy a lot was <laughs> she around fight, comedy a lot right not really she was only in comedy for like three three years oh, like she three, did two comedy. years yeah she did comedy yeah yeah yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, she did like open mic like open mic shit exactly oh, okay. so like she was doing like open mics and shit nothing crazy um so yeah man i was uh, yeah I, and I again, I think I, you know, me and Dante, we had that talk at the yeah. stand where I was just like, she wasn't even a problem, bro. I had to go back to the childhood. Like my mom is, yeah, yeah. my yeah. mom is like the conditional love. You know what I'm saying? Right, and right, right. My dad, I, my dad never really raised me because <laughs> Dante had a great scenario. Like that nigga was scared of your mom. That nigga was running too. So yeah. ain't no, ain't no real man yeah. ever told me like, yo, this is not how the way you're supposed to be talked to. This is not how a woman's supposed to talk to you. If she does talk to you like this, screaming at you, yelling at you, to belittling you, then there's something wrong with her. It ain't you. You got to get out of there. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, yeah it, it was the same reminiscent, bro. Like it was black and white. How like, the way she would yell at me is the same way my mom would yell at me, like leaving voicemails, cursing me out like I was her ex-boyfriend. And I'd be yeah. like, 
uh, my mom tripping again. Here she is. But that right. ain't normal. Right. <laughs> but I was I grew you think up with it's that normal. shit. You thought it was normal because that's I what you were accustomed with that. to. That's that's my cold. Right. If if the sky says it's supposed to be blue, I'm going to be blue. Right. So that's what they call your love. <laughs> that's your love language. My <laughs> love. <Abuse>. language. That's <laughs> right. Abuse. Emotional abuse. Man. Hell yeah. man. I remember all them voices. I'm still scared to this day. Like my mom leave a voice. Man. I'm like, is this bitch really going to curse me out right now? Like, mm -hmm. I can't believe like, yeah, she was back in the day like why the fuck i gave you the car you always fucking out there doing some fucking shit the fuck you supposed to be home and it hangs up i'm like did i fuck this lady she's <laughs> tripping right there <laughs> she in her feelings man she bro bad, she but bad. but like even i, and then, I you look know, up but you marry your fucking you know you marry your mom like that's right? the epitome yeah that's the epitome of 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 what there you see is. as femininity yo do you know what yep. i mean Yep. It's it's and so it feels right. So yep. that abuse feel even though it's wrong, it just feels right. Feels that a, that abuse, that control, telling me what to do. That, that's like yes, Jamaicans that felt, and, and peanuts in home. a bottle, bro. Yeah, it's it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's <laughs> you stupid. It's a fish to water, man. I fell <laughs> home with her. But like none of that shit was like, yeah, you felt home, was, but not happy because you weren't happy when you were a kid. Either. You forget that part about either, right? right? You forget I that mean, part. Hey. Like, this feels like home, but I forgot why I left home was to get the <laughs> fuck away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. So I fuck. had to like undo all that last summer and uh, therapy is a shit, man. Any niggas on here, go, go to therapy, man. Push ups ain't going to work. Uh, you hear that, Andre? <laughs> Sound personal. You talking about me? <laughs> <laughs> I can't no, just do push ups till my gonna, pain go away. I think I'll do 200 push ups as no. soon as he get off. Yo, yeah. you're gonna, you gonna have tears running down your pecs, your great pecs. Oh, that's funny as shit. <laughs> oh, it's tears running down your pecs. Uh -huh, like, this, yeah. this nigga cry, crying all over his abs. This nigga <laughs> right here. <laughs> But Yo, the other part yeah. is that for Nori, like I can see why that sneaks up, especially for comedians, is because you don't realize that all your friends have been taken away from you because you're still out. You're still out. You're allowed to go out in the yard like it's like a prison, but huh. you get to go out in the yard. You get to do shows. So you think you still have the same life until you stop and look around you. Like, but oh, Harry, man, here's all the my friends are gone. Nah, but here's the trick, though. She came with me all the fucking time. And there were oh. times I'm having we have a fight and arguments. I'm like, my nigga, I'm just going to go do the show. Come back. I don't know why you don't want me to go. I mean, you always let me go before. I don't know why you won't let me go. Bitch, I just want to go work and come back. I don't yeah. know what the problem is. Uh, but I, so, all right. So then go then go ahead. And then make me feel bad. And then if I do go. And then it's nothing but text messages and arguments. And so she's just like all up in the head. So it got to the point, bro, where I was just I was two different people. Like my piece was on stage. Mm -hmm. But in the back of my head, I knew like you gotta oh, get man, off. When, I, when I get when I got to get off, I'm going to have to deal with her passive aggressive. Like, I guess you have fun. Who's there? I saw one time IG Nori story, ran the light for three like, and a half hours. He wouldn't get off bro, the stage. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I brought a goddamn sleeping bag on stage. Yeah. <laughs> And a piss jar. He's like, I'm up here for the. I I'm up here for the duration. <laughs> Wolf, of, Wolf of Wall Street. I'm not fucking leaving. I'm not fucking leaving. <laughs> I'm not fucking leaving. <laughs> Yo, why do got an electrical stove on that bitch? Yeah, bro. He's got a yeah. <laughs> yeah man, a can so of beans up just, there. <laughs> Nori, just flashing the light. Nori, I see it. I can't go. Please, <laughs> I don't want to go. I, talk I got to one this more bitch again. I got one my more phone joke. is vibrating yeah. too. I know there's stuff on there. <laughs> it's, it's 27 text messages. Nigga, well, that shit says a strong 12. You like 12. <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> we got 12 paragraphs. <laughs> You can't even always see the amount, the number, but when you see a twelve, you can see a twelve. Yeah, man. When it, we, way back, a big red twelve yeah. over your messages. Yeah, green. When you got double digits in the text message, so like sometimes you ain't just, gonna lie, no, I smelt it. I know, I smelt yeah, it. Man. What did you see, Dante, that let you know that Nori was in trouble? It was just too goofy. It was because first of all, let me tell you something. <laughs> I've seen, I've seen Nor be cold, like <laughs> cold, like oof. <laughs> like and I, it's hard to get me get a chill. Uh, I've seen Nori be all in one sense. Like, like, like where a chick was like trying to tell him what to do and blah blah, blah trying to down. control him, and he was like, he was like, nah, baby, you gotta understand. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Eagles gotta fly. Damn, hilarious. <laughs> he but was like, why? Why Eagles was he... gotta fly, baby? 
Hey, it was sound effects. Hey. Bird game. I just came out the camera on bird game. <laughs> well, I seen him be ice cold. Yeah, Especially man. when he put my fur on. When he put my fur on. He was oh, big. nigga, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So I that was before man. this chick, though, that you were ice oh, cold. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. So, uh, yeah, this was before. So but I'm saying Nori I've had seen skills. him. Nori had some game oh, yeah, and confidence. Nigga, everybody and gets somehow got, he baby. still got caught. Everybody gets got. Yeah, man. That mama trauma pulls up on you. <laughs> mama trauma is hilarious. That yes. mama trauma pulls up. That's what happens, man. Mama After trauma. a while, you know, that's whatever. Yeah. That means this chick child. is good. She's good. And the child's like, I want love, man. Why am I not getting love? And everything you give is not is not satisfying. And so it just finds a chick that reminisces or remembers him. But it's which, at mom. least what you what you perceived which, it was. Exactly you know? what I perceive what love is. And yeah. it's not. But yeah, exactly. So, yeah, man, I remember when I got out, I was like, I got to talk to Dante, man, because I, I don't know how the fuck I ain't see that. But I know now and we had a great convo. But yeah, man, yeah. it was. It's it's something that um I'm happy that happened now. I'm happy I didn't get taken over. Like I got arrested twice because yeah, like sure. having a fight to the street because of um, her. Yeah, yeah. Fighting man. with her. Yo, he was uh, deep, yeah, nigga. Man. You f- like oh, deep, man. deep. Like like if you fighting, man, cops taking the man every time. There's every no time. like <laughs> millennials. We are taking all the shit for baby boomer niggas being trash as fuck. Like we take <laughs> all your shit. Like judges change, cops change. They just like take all the niggas. Like we everybody ain't got no goes. time. Everybody, everybody goes. goes. But she, mm. she, she, I don't care about no she. Nigga, you here. Bye. You got you to go. Going to jail. <laughs> you mm. going to jail. We not, we wow. not dealing Twice. with this bullshit. How long? Twice, Twice and how long? Uh, the first time was summer, uh, summer 2019 and then May May 8th, 2020. Um, yeah, you, you don't forget that. Nigga, I was on like a holding, a holding cell tour. I was, <laughs> I went right. to Brooklyn, one in Red Hook in Brooklyn. They, cause like in, in, getting arrested in New York is worse than fucking Yonkers. Like Yonkers, uh, they keep you on spot. And plus like my dad's a retired cop. So that helped a little bit. But yeah, man, just um, well, Yonkers is not technically New York City. You also right. shouldn't have a Westchester relationship. County. You, should, you also County, shouldn't yeah. have a relationship that causes that allows you to make a, a, exactly. a comparison between Yonkers holding cells and, and New Fair. York. That that's probably a sign. There's a little red flag right there's there. Just, so there's just no way to like think that's healthy. But I was just like, yo, hey, you know. This is love. And I wanted it. And I was just like, and she was very convincing on some shit of like, yo, I'm sorry. Like, I never did that again. You know, she would do the whole thing. And I'm like, I'm an emotional, I'm an empath ass nigga where I'm like, I believe you. I'm very gullible. Like, Harry, you could say like, yo, I hurt my leg. Yo, Nori, could you come over and help me? I'd be like, all right, no doubt. I got you, dog. Like, that's the type of nigga I am. Even though you lying, you just trying to use me. Right. Mm -hmm. But after a while, I have to be like. All right, like, all right, Harry, what the fuck happened to you? Like, yeah, take care of yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to do that, you know, and right. I, I need to. So I think that was within me that I don't want to be judged that you think I'm a bad guy. So I don't help you with your leg. And I think that's what the emotional problem was. Like a lot of men got to know that it's OK to say no and be a people pleaser and be taken advantage of. So I think. She was great with that. And, and plus, I was I was going right into like, all right. Yeah, but you know, was- what? Here's, here's what's interesting, too. I think a, a lot of times guys don't understand, you know, that 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 need to want to please. Yeah. is is your currency. That's your mm-hmm. male currency, whether you don't realize it or not. That's your that's your male currency. So it's like the the analogy that I use a lot of times is um, you remember Meta World? Um, Meta, um, yeah. Yeah. Ron Artest. When, yeah, Ron Artest. So remember when he when the dude threw a soda at him and he ran up in the and he choked Yo, the dude. But the, the but malice the dude he at the choked, palace. Yeah. He, he yeah, was like, who did it? He pointed to the little white kid and he choked the white kid, but it was really the dude. Yeah. So if you think about what they when they found that when they ran the tape and they found it was the guy that threw the, the what did they do to him? They took his niggas Bandle, season. Yeah. They took his season. Now this here's a dude whose whose life was season tickets. You know, I me mean, we took tens of stacks to get those yeah. season tickets, and all they did was remove him. Yeah, right. And he he was trying to get his tickets back. He lost his mind. He even ended up apologizing to Ron Artest and all kinds of stuff. But it, yeah, when when you when you understand what your leverage is. All you got to do is pull your leverage back 
first of all, mm-hmm. your the leverage of the, that kind of kindness and and civility and 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 concern and empathy. We don't realize that that's the currency. That's that's mm. my goal. So I'm giving you that, right? Yeah. The yep. difference is, if you can't take it, I don't have to fight with you. I'm not gonna argue with you. I'm gonna fight with you. I'm not gonna get arrested. I'm just gonna remove myself. I'm taking your season's tickets. My nigga, and I had endless currency, even when I didn't have none in the tank. Yeah. And that's where the shit I didn't recognize. I'm just giving out all the Scrooge McDuck golden nuggets. Yeah. <laughs> and, you, gave and, the du- you gave the duck the golden nigga, goose the away. The whole, the whole vote. <laughs> she, was the like, vote. she was like, you know what? I would like a goose sandwich. He was like, all right, well, guess we got to kill the goose. I guess I get to get it. Yeah. But the best part is at the end, she was like, what about the one thing you truly love, your career? Can I have that? Like, it was just, <laughs> it wasn't enough what you did. Took the, she took went the after, glasses off. Excuse yeah. me, bitch. What'd you say? Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, and it's time to wake up. It, like, yeah, man, it's time to wake just up. Just give bro. me the one yeah. thing you truly treasure more than anything in the world. It's funny because, yeah, like, um, you got to, like, it's funny. I was talking to Harry the other day. Where it's like we're talking about how when the moment when once the moment starts that you feel that that you know i used to say it like this if you feel tingling your nuts you're about to get kicked in the balls Mm. and it's like (laughs) it's it's you feel that in your stomach like yo bro you know i don't like this i don't like this but as soon as you go i don't like it you gotta go you gotta say that look i don't like this yeah i'm i'm just we're not gonna continue this I i don't know what this is but i don't do awkward and we are not going to continue this. And if this can't be pleasant, if this can't be fun to do, then I'm not doing it. I'm, yeah. I'm just not doing it. Yeah. And I feel like for me, I found the love in myself that I know that this is not the way I want to be loved. And I'm going to be OK by myself. You know what I'm saying? I didn't like being alone. So better I was off. just like, even better off. I, yeah, I was just like, this is fine, man. I can I can handle this. I'm going to I'm going to help her through this. And next, you know, it's a fight every fucking time. Like, I, I think I, I think I would count the times where like, all right, there wasn't a problem today. Dope. There mm. wasn't a problem. And then wow. you feel sometimes like <laughs> I feel I feel I'm counting when I'm just like something about to be a problem. You know, why didn't you sleep with me last night? Oh, here we go. The countdown yeah. go to zero. Like hope, yeah. like shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You it's go like over two, to the board. You know, 200 board days that you, you without board. an accident. Yeah. Right? Bro, yes. Erase it, two, put a big fat zero. <laughs> seven hours without an accident, without a fight. Without a, yeah, man. And that's just days like, without you know, a fucking problem. That control, you know, that control shit, want to keep a nigga off balance or, or her own traumas of trust mm-hmm. and me just trying to like definitely play into it. I, there were plenty of times I think back now, I could have been like, Yo, this ain't right. I don't, you, yo, you tripping. I don't think there ain't nothing gonna happen here. And let me just leave. I never mm. did that, man. Never did couldn't that. Couldn't even felt, do it. I felt couldn't even do it. Felt did bad. Did you feel you know? like you would f- you had failed? I yeah, I would fail. I feel that I would be alone, and I feel like that. Damn, um, I would just be by myself. Like fuck. But it's also I, a situation I made a where mistake. you. Yeah. So ego, uh, ego, pride. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, man, I can help her. Like, yeah, I was, I was Captain Save a Ho. I can. I was Captain Save a Ho. I'll save all yeah. of them. I had, I had my cape on, bro. I'll save you. I mean, I, I grew up with is, the is, is, I was just, It's funny. We had, we, we did a show with Matt, and I was saying the same thing to him because he was kind of going, you know, because Matt, Matt, Matt Richards. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I think we all still helping him through that. Like, cause yeah. that shit fresh. His is fresh. His is yeah, new. His, yeah. yeah. This and I was telling fresh, him, I, I was it, saying yeah. him, look, there's a reason why you, I said, first of all, nobody loves you. Nobody falls in love with you for what you do for them. It's what you let them do for you. Facts. You give them, you give them purpose in the context of your life. And if you're being so, so for providing with no boundaries, then she but can da- take it, take, she can take it for granted. But Dante, mm-hmm. doesn't that not that it contradicts, but I want the clarity of like what your responsibility as a man, because you're doing things automatically, no matter what. Right. That but make if her those, life better. But how does but, that compare to having if her? It's do not, stuff to you? If there's no appreciation, then it stops. Right. The minute some the minute you feel as though it's not. First of all, I don't think I think you have to do you either going to do. OK, so the way I operate is that. There are things that I'm, there's the way that I'm going to operate where I'm comfortable. That if I have those boundaries, if I give, I'm going to give what, what I'm comfortable giving 
mm-hmm. without without getting something re- in return. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, Meaning like I, you're not if you're buying, for example, if you're literally talking about money, let's say like you're buying dinner. It's going to be like I'm buying dinner, not expecting anything. I'm doing it out of courtesy, but you're not spending a thousand dollars a plate on people because that's something you couldn't afford. I, but I you might, will drop. I might, I might do that if I thought that's what I wanted to do. My point is, I the dick. If I have to question what I'm going to get back, right? I will not give that unless I make it clear that I'm looking for something back. Do you, you know, like if if so so for me, I, the way I say it is okay if I if I'm walking I get out the Seven Eleven and a, and a dude asks me for a dollar I give him the dollar if he spends it on food if he spends it on drugs if he gambles it whatever I did my part it's his dollar it's we cool even if I give him five I, I, I if I give him five I'm giving him five and you know, that's your five dollars right. But if you take that same homeless dude, you bring him home and you shower, give him a shower and you get him a suit. You work on his resume. You give him a place to stay. You get him you get him interviews for job. Right. You get him some housing and then he don't show up for the interview. You like, nigga, are you fucking cr-? like all because now you've gone to the point where there's a it's a contract of of where you expect something in return. And yeah. when. And when you're getting to the point where you're in a relationship and you're giving those things, you still got to have that same <clears throat> that same thing. It's one thing if you say to me, yo, yo, let me hold five dollars. You give me five. dollars, It's whatever. If you go, let me hold five thousand. I'm like, OK, look, how are we going? How how's that? I don't have five thousand. And I'm not saying I'm saying if I had money like that, where I, I could give five thousand where I would. But so let's uh. I, that's great. That, no, all right, so let me give an example like Harry on an emotional level of like I would I was able to sacrifice relationships with homegirls that I work with for her. And what I was looking in for return was just like, hey, you're going to forgive them and they can come back into my life because I or, or our life because I like work with them. Oh, you really still like work with them? Yeah. Regardless of what they did to you, what you said they did to you. You should be able to trust or or forgive yeah. them, and then they can come back and work because I really want to do that. So but I you never, sacrificed. You never said I that sacrifi- though. Exactly. No, I did. I did say that, but we're we're fighting. We're fighting, and I did say that, but then I would retract it because it would get too wild. She would get too wild. You just well, couldn't he, win well, the fight. Is, you couldn't win the fight. And, so, but yeah. but but I, but Dante's right. I didn't like say it, say it, but I said it. So it's like after a while, mm. I'm not setting a boundary for myself but i am low-key looking and for like yo when are you gonna like <laughs> forgive them and i can come back and sacrifice for me you know and well, that's well, the thing so- that a lot of dudes make that mistake because what it is is you want to stop the fight you don't want to keep fighting you actually want there to be peace and when you're arguing with something that's purely not logically based it's emotionally based there is no winning an argument with something that is just purely emotional. And as dudes, we give up and go, all right, whatever. You concede the point because you think, let's just try to make peace here. But the problem is you're conceding things that have consequence to them. And in the long term, you keep conceding things. And that's how you end up alone. <laughs> and like, it's hey, where'd all my about, friends it's go? Really, it's not about the thing you're arguing about of course not yeah it's about it's about it's about a whole other thing and it might be uh, it might be because she doesn't feel fulfilled so i but i i think what 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 happens is you 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 said you on low key you can't be low key the minute you give in a way that you feel as though you some there's something you want in return then before you give that away, you got it. It's like you can't negotiate after a while, you know, here, yo, take this car, take it home, register it in your name, give it insurance and we'll figure out what it costs later. Now, I need to know what it's going to cost right now, because I know what I'm willing to pay and I know what I want, what I, what I expect in return. And if you can't get that in return, then you got to then you got to go, well, maybe we don't need to do business. You know, yeah. I mean, and it's just that simple. But if you're going with this impression and then you're looking at other people based on your your mm-hmm. through your goggles, which is which come from somebody who's giving and and and, you know, a pleaser, you you know, a people pleaser, the, ple- the people pleaser. Yeah, man. you're going to if you fucking with somebody who's selfish, you all. Oh, I mean, this, yeah, this is they a bottomless pit. 
I'm taking all of it. Whatever. All what you, you like? It. What do you want? You hear me? I want more. More. But more. I just gave you more. But but more. look, I just, I'm naked. I want that too. Yeah. That's okay. yeah. I want your skin. I want your muscles. I want your veins. <laughs> Give me your heart. Especially now if you, you got closed veins. Uh, he died. Damn. Very, very I can't believe. Close veins. I can't believe he died. What the fuck is wrong with him? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah man. Yeah, it but it's like something that, you got to learn to negotiate that right away, right? Yo, the out the gate. Away, yeah, and man. you got to be like, nah, I'm not. I won't do that. Yeah, man. I, I don't do that. Well, the other thing is, yeah, you put yourself in that position where it becomes the norm. These things become the norm, and mm -hmm. it becomes a big thing to try to turn that over overnight. So that's why there's these little things that you concede and it builds up like a giant snowball rolling down a hill before you know it is too much for one person to deal with. And you're you, you can't win anything like yeah, that's why you have to there. nip things <laughs> when they happen in I, that moment. And no, go, I don't like that. Just nip them in the butt. I broke up with a chick because she, she wasn't given enough brain. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, you don't like me. She was like, what, what do you mean? I was like, yeah, I'm, what's up with the neck? I don't get, I can't get no neck. Yeah, and man. She, I, and she was like, well, I'm just really not good at it. I go, well, that's why you practice. Practice. Like, you know? <laughs> she was like, I didn't well, say you had you to know, be on the okay. all-star team. I just want a little <laughs> hustle. That's all. <laughs> Charlie Hustle, uh, baby. Rudy. your uniform dirty. You know what I mean? Like Rudy. <laughs> so, so I was like, well, look, um, all right. Well, I mean, you know, just so you know, this is, this is, this is non-negotiable. This is you know important I mean? to me. Word, yeah. So, Bond, so, so all of a sudden, it was good for a while, then it started weaning off, and I was like, so I just, I, we, everything was cool as shit. I said, yeah, I feel like we should go our separate ways. I just called that on, on the way home. I was just feeling like, I was like, I feel like we should go our separate ways. She goes, why? I feel like we're communicating better, and I feel closer to you, and I go, I go, well, my I, dick I, I, and I go, why, yeah. why, then why is my dick not in your mouth? <laughs> yeah, see, and she I, says, I'm why do you, why you gotta be so I, vulgar? I was like, because no. it's it understands like I'm not okay. Nigga, I'm not that's okay the class. with that. That's the class I'm trying to graduate from, dog. Like I would be the type of nigga be like, all right, that's cool, you know, and I adjust to her. And then that's yeah. already I already gave up a boundary. But there's so something so powerful within men and women too, of like, you know what, I don't like that aspect. And I don't even and I communicated it. And now that you still there's still resistance there. All right, so let's just call this a spade a spade, baby. Let's call that's it. fine. And this, let's call it. Let's call the game. Let's call but it. But the second is first quarter. Let's call the game. Yeah, it's <laughs> done. Let's call, it. call the game. Everybody go home. Everybody will get their tickets refunded. Sorry. We are sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck this it. game is not happening. Like, but they got and the I, wedding, I love the wedding cake. We already, the wedding cake is there. Call, and the band, send them home. Send, send the band them home. home. Call the Tell game. Tell them to have some Thank cake you. and go home. Plenty it's canceled. Everybody on the way out. <laughs> it's canceled. Everybody caught the flu. Sorry, and you got to be surprised. Yeah, I love be that surprised. power. You bet. Yeah. You'd be surprised how, when you're willing to do that, all yeah. of a sudden the negotiation is like, whoa, whoa, oh, you just, you just, yeah. going, but you don't like me. Yeah, yeah, I like you. I'm not chick saying to me, you, you. I mean, I, I go, I go, yeah, I like you. I said, but I'm not, I'm not. I, I go understand something. I'm not having this conversation with you again <laughs> this this is the last time we are having this conversation i love that shit bro and by the way like, it, it's not the power like, but i want that power I, I have that power i think i have i have that do, in me, man we're like where the fucking discussion table comes down doof and it's just like one light in the middle and just like we're not having this conversation no more and yeah. it, this is it well here's here's it, what man. happens when you one start plus doing one is two when you start doing it then you got to watch your ego because then you just be doing I used to talk I used to counsel dudes and they was turning pussy down just to just so they could like nah I, I'm good <laughs> the power or, or he'd be like he'd be like yo 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 you gotta you gotta get your stuff let's go mm. get your well well I was I just got here yeah and I don't want to argue and I this is I'm not doing that get your stuff let me I'm take you home let's go but and I, by the I, way, it doesn't it's not something that's just for crazy chicks or or something oh, where yeah, no, a woman yeah. is abusive, even in a relationship where you get along. Sometimes it's important to set these small boundaries when they happen. Like I was dating a girl and she was uh, she was having some issue with something and she was upset about it. And I was asking her to explain it. 
and she was getting frustrated and she started clapping her hands together like this is not working like that thing that where you clap funny. and and I go uh <laughs> you hey, dating a black girl was that a no. black girl oh, oh that's funny it was uh, close who's not, who's not uh, a black and I have she, but no it wasn't that okay. ironically it oh, wasn't okay. uh right. but she was and she wasn't doing it to me but she was frustrated but I still had to go hey do me a favor don't don't uh, don't do the clapping thing she goes what what do you mean don't do that thing where you clap and like you are exacerbating the point by clapping well, I wasn't mm. doing it to you I go I know you weren't but just I, I just it bothers me don't do it and it was a thing where I had to nip that in the, because it's something that bothered me and I didn't think she was doing it to me but that's that's the little seed that ends up being years down the oh, line yeah. where the you're at a nightclub and you oh yeah why she's oh. kicking you in the balls right <laughs> right she and clap she she clapping in front of your face in the comedy show. Yep. Like, right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. We not doing this, Harry. Right. <laughs> Harry. <laughs> Harry, I told you, you ran the light and stayed on stage. And right. His last exactly. name is Turjanian. That's he a lot of clappable ass, ass name of, too. Oh. Turjanian. Clappable fucking yeah. Harry Turjanian. <laughs> Let oh, me tell you, and you like, oh man, I how do we get here? Son. Yeah, I do. I do that. I do that. Yo, yeah, man. Y'all don't curse at me. But you just, I don't, I, yo, don't. My thing, I don't like when people laugh when you, when you trying to be serious. Don't come to me trying to be serious, and then you start laughing. Like you brought this energy of, I want to have a conversation, my feelings. I, right. yeah, stay on course. <laughs> don't like, <laughs> I just like nah, focus, bitch. focus. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta shut that down. Yo, we're gonna shut this down. They're gonna go behind the uh. Behind, behind the Patreon, the Patreon wall. and finish just uh yo uh real quick let's do the plugs um no do your plugs and the album and everything and everything that's coming out yeah and the video up, dope hell yeah nori davis hit my uh spotify title apple music up that latest stand-up comedy album called live from the comedy trap house recorded in zoom and uh have a music video attached to that album coming out in february so subscribe to my youtube at nori davis for real and my instagram at nori davis hit me up yeah yeah Dre. yo uh andre d thompson on every single thing you can find in between spots just type andre d thompson in google damn harry uh, you can go to my website, <laughs> IHateComedy.com. Um, and also you could check out Catalyst Wrestling. I'm still doing that on uh, the Fight app and Gas Digital and all that. Uh, and come and join us over at Patreon, Patreon.com slash Manschool202, where we do this and some other bonus features as well. And uh, we're also on TikTok now uh, at uh, Manschool202. So come and join us over at TikTok to see some uh, short clips and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Harry, Harry and Dante learning how to do the dances. Oh yeah, we got to figure out how to do that. <laughs> how to do those so you, I still have no idea how so to you, merge you the clips. Get, I've never you, learned one of those. You about I'll to stop. get served. You about to get served. Man. Oh, you gonna, Dante, you gonna stomp the yard? <laughs> we go. I'm gonna stomp the yard, Harry. I'm oh, gonna boy, stomp the yard. Say he gonna stomp the yard. <laughs> pump, uh, pump, pump it up. <laughs> I'm gonna do the. No. I'm gonna do the one hand and slide with the glove. With no fingers. Oh, I'm gonna have to kill you after that. You know that's the rules. Somebody the second you shot. pull off the, the arm slide, yeah, you gotta die. Somebody <laughs> gotta die. And he was God he was gonna go to college outside, this like. year. He was gonna go he was to gonna college. Everything. He was gonna go to college this year. Yeah. Uh GYBB get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do to sexual revolution being podcasted? Yo, I love y'all. We are out. Check us behind the Patreon. Uh go to Patreon dot com slash manschool202 manschool202 is created by Dante Nero hosted by Dante Nero with Harry Turjanian and Andre D. Thompson produced by Harry Turjanian executive producers Matt Kleinschmidt Harry Turjanian and Dante Nero 